Hello there. This video shows how Control can help you and your company with your processes. Control is used to build processes with workflows and can be used to run tasks on it. Yes, you can improve the workflow efficiency through automation and have real-time visibility and clear communication across departments. How? Every process you create in Control is called a board. When building a board from scratch, you are taken to a two-step process builder that guides you to create a form to store information inside tasks and a blueprint for tasks to be routed to different stages in its workflow. Once the process is published, users can now create tasks inside it, which are called cards. When the board's form is filled and submitted, a card is created based on the form and gets automatically mapped to the blueprint of that board. Cards created are automatically assigned to stakeholders as how the administrators had defined the assignees in the Blueprint's workflow. Your assigned cards are shown in the My Cards view of the board. Your created cards are shown in the My Created Cards view. The cards only show up to the assigned users through the transitions, which show up as buttons for the user to click and check off the task. The assignees can be mapped to the Before section of the transition when building the Blueprint. While checking off the transition in the card, the user can be guided with inputs from any field in the form. These input fields are configured in the During section of the transition while building the Blueprint. Any or all fields of the board's form can be mapped to the transition. Once the transition is performed by the user, it can be configured to perform automations. After a series of transitions, the card travels across various stages of the blueprint. Each transition owner, notified by email or through the mobile app, logs in and checks off the card until it reaches the final stage. This type of workflow automation inside Control facilitates a seamless exchange of data, providing excellent visibility and tracking. Now let's see how a board is created and managed in detail. When you create a board, you can create it from scratch, or install it from an existing template with a single click. You can choose and install a predefined template according to the use case and department. A template is easier and faster to get started because you don't have to create your process from scratch. If you wish to create a board from scratch with your own preferred process name, Control creates a basic board for you. To modify the board, click the More Options icon beside the board name in the left pane and click Manage Board in the Overflow menu. You are then taken to a three-step process builder. The first step is to build the form. You can add the fields in the left pane across different field types into the form by dragging them to name and configure other additional properties for the fields. You can break down the form into different sections and add fields under them if you prefer. You can also create tables in the form by adding line items. Every column is added as a field in the line item table. Click Save and next to Save the form to start building the blueprint in the next step. Control has added two stages and connected them through a transition already. You can delete or modify them as per your preference. To create stages, you can add them from the right pane into the blueprint canvas. The stages you have added can be connected together with transitions by hovering your cursor on top of a stage and dragging a line out from the bordering circles. The position of the transition connection points can also be modified later. When a transition is created, you can name it first to see options to configure its other parameters. Every transition has three tabs called Before, During, and After. These tabs are named based on the context of the button. The Before tab allows you to add users, roles, teams, and user fields to assign the transition. The transitions can also be automated to be performed by time, condition, and by a connected card. The assignment can be additionally controlled through a filter. Once you add the assignee, you can configure the form's fields to guide the users to fill while checking off the card. The fields can be set to be filled on a mandatory basis. Extensions that you have installed from the marketplace can also be configured here as widgets. The After tab allows you to configure automations like automated email alerts, field updates, API triggers, 
function executions, and create a connected card that syncs the field values with the parent card. These assignments and automations are set across all transitions in the blueprint. Normal transitions can be converted to parallel transitions to gather simultaneous inputs from different user groups. Normal transitions can also be converted to common transition, which will share that transition across different stages in the card to its assigned users. Stages can also be configured with additional properties. You can rename the stage. You can mark it as an open or a closed type stage. The terminating stages of the blueprint should always be set up as a closed type stage. You can set a deadline at a stage to send out an email alert in case a card gets delayed at that stage. Once the blueprint is set up, click Save and Validate to save the blueprint configurations. Click Publish in the final step to save all the changes made in the board. Once the board is ready, you can invite your portal users into the board to create and work on cards. This type of workflow design provides exceptional cross-functional collaboration. The Kanban view arranges cards by stages. This view is great for tracking cards based on its progress in the workflow. The list view arranges cards in a list-based fashion. This view gives tabular visibility, allowing you to filter cards effectively and export them to spreadsheets. The dashboard view gives you a quick glimpse of the status of all cards and its progress. These cards can also be visually tracked from the reports section. You can create your own custom reports from here to compare one field value in your cards against another for your KPI. You can also use our default workflow usage and duration reports. You can modify the board user's privileges from the Manage Users menu. The invited user's permissions to allow creating cards can be configured from the Manage Requesters menu. Field level user permissions for cards can be configured from the Manage Permissions menu. The other options in the Overflow menu allow you to create various forms of automations specifically for this board. You can also set them up globally across all boards from the Settings tab. So let's have a look. Your boards can be managed from here just like in the Boards tab. You can create business rules to trigger automations inside cards based on a criteria. All automation actions supported inside a transition after action are also supported here. Conditional fields allow you to modify the properties of card fields based on a condition. Schedules allow you to trigger functions or create cards automatically for a board based on a time-based frequency. Email templates for your transitions and business rule alerts can be created from the Email Templates tab. Cards can be emailed to a board instead of a user creating them manually. These email in configurations for your boards can be set up from the Email In tab. If you want external users or guest users to submit cards, your board forms can be published as public forms from the Public Forms tab. Extensions and integrations can be installed from the Marketplace tab. Your organization settings, such as company name, portal name, company logo, portal owner, global notification settings, tab name settings, date and time settings, and custom email domain can be configured here. Control offers an extensive audit logging system that allows you to pull up logs of any changes made in any module by a user and can be filtered across time. Your organization data in your portal can be backed up from the data backup tab. Your entire control portal can be white labeled from this tab. You can invite your users using their email address from the Users tab. You map the users to a permission profile and can also map them to a role or a team. External users, vendors, or clients can be added as light users for just viewing and checking off cards. Permissions can be created from the Profiles tab with your preferred permissions for your users. You can then fine tune these permissions individually for your users inside the board too. The roles and teams are user groups that can be created from the roles in the users tabs respectively. To trigger API through webhooks in your transitions and business rules, you can set up your webhooks with the endpoint URL from the webhooks tab. 
You can build custom extensions and widgets for your control portal using our software development kit from the widgets tab. You can create a variety of functions across different programming languages to use in your transitions and business rules to set up your custom business logic. Connections are predefined authentication scopes to authorize the REST API endpoints used in your functions. Client scripts are scripts used to manipulate card forms to alter the properties of its fields or show custom validation messages and execute custom API triggers right from the web browser's client. Separate client script APIs are available. Codecs are scripts used to set up custom business logic, custom validation messages, and custom API triggers that are executed at our server side. This technology simplifies data interactions across your organization, ensuring swift and intelligent responses to user inputs, enhancing user experience with its simplified script definitions. Bridge is used to set up a variety of on-premise integrations to automate Windows and Linux server operations, SFTP operations, SQL database operations, and also manage Active Directory tasks. It has a variety of endpoint connectors built inside it to accommodate these functionalities. Tables are lightweight databases that can be used to look up information inside cards. Your board form has a table lookup field that can be configured to look up data from a column of a table. Control now offers a process development sandbox that allows you to introduce changes to your processes selectively without affecting the active configurations in your boards whose cards users are working on. We hope that this overview will help your team further increase the efficiency of your processes. Feel free to reach out to us if you have questions.